Hey, my name is Kamar, so welcome back to God of War Ragnarok. This is part four of my Give Me God of War playthrough. And before I start the video, I would like to ask to please leave a like, share, comment what you love most about this game and its story, and subscribe if you enjoy the video. I truly appreciate it, and it really helps out. So, last part, we have finally made it to Sindri's house. Brock has talked to his brother and uh, managed to let me and the boy stay. So... Yeah. Well, how's life been treating everyone's favorite as your Vulgarian? The fuck you call me? <laughs> Exquisite. <laughs> I just love the dialogue in this game. Uh, but yeah, we finally made it here, and you know, our, it's this is basically kind of like how like the beginning of our journey, like for real. Uh, I got a few upgrades that I want to make though, so. Uh, uh, not yet. That one's pretty good. Yeah, I'll, I, I, I'll get that one. Eh. What's this one? Right. And this one? Okay, I'll get this one. And as for the boy. Alright, so let's get into it. If you mean to set out, you need to tell Sindri. Wait. It's about I time he explained what he needs my help with. Ah, uh, right, I forgot. Finding everything alright, I hope. How do we unlock the realms? We'll just need something from back at the workshop. Follow me, and be sure to bring the head. Uh, yeah. So, where exactly is Tyr being held? He's imprisoned in a mine somewhere. That's all we know so far. Hmm. The realm is full of mines, you realize. You'll need help narrowing it down. Ooh, you should talk to Durlin. Who's Durlin? He's a cousin of ours, sort of. Works for the city on safety issues. Should have access to all kinds of information on mines. And I know he's no friend of Odin. That's why your mother sought his help when she was trying to whip up a rebellion. Ready? A rebellion? Did you know about that? I did not. A rebel leader who knew more. Sounds like exactly what we need. I think you missed the ta-da. Well, never mind. I'll have this oiled up in no time. I am Meet you going at the gateway to miss outside. this. Rebel a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I already I do. Huh? And you... You just remember things however they pop into your being, don't you? I suppose you think Derlin's just counting the days until a couple of strays show up looking for trouble. What do you mean, Brock? Will he help us or not? No, oh, never mind. It ain't old Brock's place to cast asparagations on my relations. This <laughs> much sponger notwithstanding. Ignoring you. Fine. Go darken Derlin's door. See for yourself how it goes. Just be warned, he's not the friendly sort of dwarf folk you're used to. He's cranky as all get out. And he talk funny, too. Sounds like a true study in contrast. <laughs> I've always wanted to see your home realm. Svartalfheim sounds unique. Svartalfheim? <laughs> Stupid Aesir name. We look like dark elves to you. Oh, right. You call the realm something else. Nidavellir, which is also the name of the capital city and where you should look for Durlin. Damn city so full of Odin fuckers nowadays. It ain't hardly somewhere a self-respecting dwarf would show his face. Harsh, but accurate. <laughs> Gosh, I'm gonna miss this. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I'm gonna miss that. You hear that? Ah, uh, yeah. The squirrels. We'll just need the Bifrost and the head. Brock? Do the touching. Oh, this would be the part requiring my assistance, then. You said it. This device here has been crafted to your measurements. It'll help you get a better look at the problem with those Bifrost eyes of yours. So I... 
Do I control this thing somehow, then? Oh, no, 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 no. This is just to hold you in place while we shine this light in your eyes. Oh, oh, Cindy, a stodding bastard! <laughs> <laughs> Open! Open now! I was really hoping not to use the eyelid clamps. Do it! <laughs> oh! That's it! That's it! Good! Now, release! That was pleasant! That's our cue! Come on, hurry! I'm coming, I'm coming! Russell the Eggs, man! What was that for? You'll see soon enough. Just there! That should do it! All nine rooms. See? No permanent damage. I'll show you permanent damage, you wee fuck! Gritos! Throw me at him! Horns first! <laughs> Can't you take a joke, you old goat? <laughs> oh my gosh. The Bifrost is broken. Now that we've reconfigured these gateways to use Yggdrasil seeds, you won't need a travel table or a Bifrost lamp anymore. I also used it for light. Okay, good note. I'll figure something out, but first, come on, let me show you how it works. Thank you so much, Sinji, for everything. Okay, aim your key at the rune for Svartalfheim on the right, then come. I didn't mean to interrupt him like that. This should take you to the wetlands outside Nidavellir City. Just make your way to the town square and ask for Durlin at the tavern. You sure they'll know him at the tavern? Durlin's always been an inveterate inebriate. I suppose he might have completely changed, but in my experience, eh. Did you want to come with us? Oh, I might drop in, but the wetlands are moist. And the Grim are everywhere. Hostile, slimy, foul-smelling creatures. But good luck! Thanks. Wait, what? I said good luck! <laughs> Thanks, Sindri. Whoa! Do you feel that? What's that like? Anything. E everything. It's warm. <laughs> we can probably use this boat. If I can just get it free. One less. Let us be careful, lad. I really don't need to do that again. But actually, well, I could use the loot again. Why are these things so bad? More wrenches on your left. Damn, I completely messed up. There we go. I see we're already off to a lively stop. Petraeus, you dropped your guard. I got the boat free though. We can head through these channels when you're ready. Mm -hmm. What's the chain in the water for? That'd be a dwarven supply ferry. Said ferry appears to be missing. Huh. <laughs> we'll see that later. I've never heard that. I didn't. That's the first time I heard that dialogue, actually. I still can't believe Mom led a whole rebellion here against Odin and never talked about it. The fact that it didn't go well might have come that notion. What your mother did before we met was her business. Did you ever ask? Eyes on the water. There are resources.
you not never a, asked not me us about a rock. what you used to do. What did you talk about when you met? Like, did you just say, Woman, guard the house. I will go to catch fish in the river. And then leave for five days? No. Your mother was far better at fishing than I. The only reason why I kind of like hesitated a bit because I don't know if their dialogue was gonna stop if I got out the water or not. But yeah. I mean, uh, <laughs> I, I have heard all of this before, but still. That is one of the best parts about this game. I could hear these characters talk about literally anything and just, yeah. That wheel is blocking the channel. I imagine if you can turn it, we should be able to get through. Yeah. So these are wetlands, huh? Pretty accurate. It is a bog. The smell is making my eyes burn. You know what is a fair bit more potent than when I last visited, now that you mention it. This right here was quite literally the last artifact that I had to collect to get the platinum trophy. Looks to be an artifact from the dwarven resistance. Trade Mars Brassard, father of a few dwarves you may be well familiar with. Rock may be interested in getting it back. Better in his hands than out in the open. Yeah, what the last one is. Oh. Aye, good old dwarven craftsmanship. Tyr was a friend to the giants. I wonder if he and Mom ever met. If he was a part of the rebellion here. It's certainly possible. The god of war often advocated for the giants. Although I don't recall if he ever declared allegiance outright. I missed that for a second. Alright. 
Honestly, I'm not playing as well as I should be, but yeah. <laughs> I could be playing worse though. Okay, there's got to be some way to turn the wheel up here. Mm-hmm. There is, my boy. I'm about to find it. Well, there. You don't mind some warning if he's about to suddenly end up snout deep in cheek. The ground. Was that an earthquake? Hmm. An occasional but not unheard of happenstance in Spartalfine. With all the mining here, the land's bound to be a wee bit bothered. Think you can reach the wheel from here? There we go. Oh wow. Nice job getting it to lower exactly where we need it. Mm. I was thinking, because it's so warm, maybe it's not that the cold hasn't made it here yet, but maybe it's just different in Sparta Farm? I lie. Thimble winter doesn't strike all realms quite the same way. Weird that. Thimble winter doesn't always make it winter. In Midgard it does, but as you can see, the effects here appear far more gaseous in nature. Observe the geysers. Observe the aforementioned aroma. These effects were present before in some form, but now there's new extremity to them. Find anything good up there? Yeah. You're just up there with me, boy. What, what do you mean? Ah, it's one of the uh, tree sap. Or Yeager's, uh, Yeager cells do? Yeah. Get out of here. Pizza! I'm just not trying, man. <laughs> I'm just, I'm not trying hard, but, uh, uh, oh, yeah, 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 I thought that would, uh, -oh. I'm sorry. Um, if the dwarves of this realm are anything like fully awake Sacred, right now, I'm just kind of imagine them siding with Odin. Well, recording this pretty all early, too actually. People are blinded to all but their immediate self-interest. Odin offered them safety. Defying him can be quite dangerous. Maybe they just need a couple of gods to come along and take the fight to him. Atreus, that is not why we are here. I was only oh, joking. That, 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 I'm not stuck. a joke, especially where gods are concerned. Trust me, the god of war would know. Listen to your father. Even though... <laughs> I'm joking. 
I am joking, because, uh, yeah, we do go to war anyways. But not because it is written, because it is, it was necessary. Yikes, this place is wrecked. And yes, I am staying alert. There are probably tons of those Grim around. Yeah. I'll track them. <laughs> oh, you. Yeah. I, I'd rather take out you first than anybody else. <laughs> I love this game. That was just perfect. That was just actually just perfect. How that happened? Thing you land the runes, brother. Kratos can actually uh, read all of the runes now, which is a uh, very good. There we go. That's the noise cue. Horn. Yep. To increase our max rage. I think that's everything here. Want to get going? Yeah. It seems, Atreus, you intend to recruit Tyr as an ally for war. I just. I'm trying to keep our options open. Mm. Let's just keep mm. moving. I'm glad we're out here, exploring a new realm. Maybe we could just try to enjoy the warmth? Yeah. Looks like we gotta find a way to open that gate if we want to get to me, the Valir. Yeah. Yeah, I know how to cut you, you little biscuit. Die. <laughs> you did it! Let's see what it draws. I'll save that for later. All right. This whole part of the story is just little puzzles and stuff. Halfway there. There's gotta be another chain to lower the rest of the gate. Yeah. Lock them down! 
How about you, Atreus? You just shot him with the arrow. Oh, right. I think I want to do. Oh, yeah, do I have to? Nice one. There we go. Block's coming down. <laughs> Can you see anything from that block? That's one of Cavassia's poems. Very highbrow. You should collect any others you find. <laughs> Exactly, are you hoping to learn from Tia? Well, like I said, I was hoping he could tell me something about Loki. I'd also like to hear some of his stories. Traveling to other lands, giant stuff, and maybe about what it was like to fight back in the day. Just for the history, obviously. History? <laughs> Let's hope Tia's in a talkative mood after being in prison for so long. Not all of Odin's captives can be as charmingly voluble as myself. <laughs> we have no proof Tyr is truly here. Right. That earthquake earlier. Do you think there will be another one? It's unlikely, but geological disturbances tend to be unpredictable. If the geysers and smell here are worse because of Fimble Winter, maybe the earthquakes are too? Aye. Might be on to something. Look ahead. Wow. Now this looks like a city. Welcome to neither of the brothers. Hey, towards. Oh. They're uh running away. They see the ghost of Sparta. Of course they would run away. I'm, I'm joking. an alarm like that if I still had my body. And was fearing the notion of being detached from it. Why held that for us, though? They are scared. It was definitely an alarm, I'm afraid. Why is everybody hiding? Stay alert. Talk to you for trouble, There'll be no help to be sure. Thanks, <laughs> we find the tavern Sindri mentioned on our own. Yeah, be back that over there, so. They must really love him here. Or fear him. There we go. And now Sindri. Hello. I'd return your surprise, but I did know you'd be here. I've got something for you. Got a new bow for the boy. Dwarf. You know, well, not a new bow, but at least once just an ability. Ragnarok. A good thing. I forgot. Oh, if these cobblestones could talk. Then they'd have mouths. Filthy, disgusting mouths. <laughs> Do you mind if I fiddle with your bow? I love Sinji. Oh, you are long overdue for a replacement. <sighs> Taking advantage of certain material. Ow. Structural sensitivity to sonic vibrations has been something uh, I've been meaning to try for quite some time now. Thanks for uh, finally trying it. What's it going to be this time? <sighs> Patience. 
I find it's best to see these things. Oh, in action. Ah. Brock made it look so easy when he added the ability to fray his arrow. Boom. There. Oh, take aim at that gate there. But before you loose, say, Ski Alpha. Ski Alpha. Ski Alpha. Ah! Well, I certainly didn't expect you to disturb half the creepy crawling mm. need of Valir. How was I supposed to know they were there? Oh! 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 oh, crap. Too good okay. at this game. <laughs> so, Derlin, Sindri, any idea joke. where the tavern is? Do I look like I've ever been to a filthy tavern? The sewer you just punched a hole through seems promising, though. For you, it should lead to the other side of the city. It's not like you're able to open other doors around here. So this lockdown really is because of us. Oh my, yes. Odin's grip on this realm is so firm, any outsider is considered a threat. Sounds like an Odinism if I ever had one. Mm. Another of Cavassia's poems. Mm -hmm. All right. Any outsider is considered a threat. Is that to protect the dwarves? It sounds like it. But knowing Odin, there's sure to be an ulterior motive. Well, everyone's hiding on this side too. Odin's occupation of this realm has its hooks in deep. But there aren't any guards patrolling. We're clearly not a threat. This <laughs> have you made an example of, to keep the rest in line. Self-preservation can outweigh bravery for even the strongest of folk. Fear keeps them safe and alive. Tavern's gotta be around here somewhere. Maybe we can try knocking on some doors for directions. A firebomb from the chief anti-Odin propagandist in Durland's Rebellion. Quite a sharp witch she had until she turned to by subtle means of resistance. <laughs> Ah, come back to that later. I forgot which direction I was supposed to be heading. I keep uh, doing that a little too early. Promising, right? Well, it's like a house. If he's here, maybe you should let me do the talking. You. Well, we don't want to intimidate him. You're tall as a tree, and you have a severed head on your head. <clears throat> None taken. <laughs> Very well. Think that's him? 
Nope. Hello? Watch yourselves. Apparently there are intruders about. Oh, that's us, I think. Eh, well, if you're planning on killing me, at least let me finish this song. That alarm was in just the perfect key. We're just looking for a friend of ours named Derlin. <laughs> well, we both know that's not true. Derlin's got no friends left. But if that's all you need, head out the back way there, and you'll see the safety office just across the river. Just don't go making trouble for the rest of us. And while you travel through this realm, maybe you could clean up the head's mess? What mess? Later, brother. Mm. I don't know if I'm gonna do all that. Mm. I'll probably do that um, outside of the playthrough and just focus on the story. I wish to hear of this mess. The rig's in the bay. Why don't you ask the condescending skull? Head, I've got skin. But he's right. I made a mistake. I'd have us shut them down. I'll do the favors off screen. Um, except for like the big ones. This actually, well, this is actually a pretty big one. But uh, yeah, we know where Derlin is. It's gonna give us an option on like whether to do the, the rigs first or just go straight to Derlin. Sorry, one more thing. Although, these are gifts I'm giving to you, so I shouldn't be sorry and you should be thankful. Anyways, here, please be careful. I'm very thankful, Sindri. It's beautiful. Thanks, Sindri. It is beautiful, isn't it? It's also very useful. You'll be able to find anything your heart desires with it. Really? As long as your heart desires the locations your father and you decide and plot to travel together, then yes. It is a compass. Ah, but a beautiful compass. Now, scamper off. Come. A boat cannot be far. Huh. Earlier, Sindri made it sound like Derlin was some sort of rebellion leader. Was being the key one to your little brother. I saw a dock back there. Maybe there's a boat we can use to get to Derlin's. There is indeed. the map there's a building just past these rocks behind me maybe we should head that way ah uh, those bloody mining rights what about them the skull is right to blame me for them they were my idea if you've got the time they're in the bay just beyond this tunnel very subtle but the game gives you an option either go to the rigs or go to Darling. I'd particularly appreciate us checking out the mining rigs in the lake to the right you can see the smokestacks from here but right. if you don't want to explore now not as subtle as like I remember through that open gate to the left <laughs> but yeah the dialogue just so just which way do we go We could prepare more before rescuing Tyr. Up to you. Nice. Uh, I'm actually going to end the video right here. Um, hmm. There's like certain side or like certain favors that are like really, really awesome. Uh... This is actually one of them, because you save a giant whale, <laughs> basically. But, hmm, I don't know, though. We'll just have to see. Uh, but yeah, this is the end of the video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, uh, subscribe, share, comment uh, your favorite part of the, this game and the story. And uh, thanks for watching, truly. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.